Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to remove this icing, royal icing that is, um, from my cookie because I ended up not liking this side. And I wanted to show you how I remove my icing for those times where I just made a mistake and I have to just remove it. And a lot of people use, like, they apply their icing and they use a kitchen knife right away. But I like to wait until my icing is dry or sort of. So I'm just going to be using my needle tool or scribe tool. I do have a channel on my channel. I honestly use this all the time in every one of my cookies. Every time I use real icing basically. So I'm just going to use this. You can use a toothpick as well. I'm just going to kind of pull those, those things. The reason that I wait for my icing to dry is because I feel it's, you know, less messy to remove it. Just kind of, you know, Pull it like that and the whole thing is removed. You just have to work on the background like so. So if you don't wait until your icing is dry, you're going to have like the leftovers, I guess, of your icing. So it's going to be, you're going to have to clean a lot more in there, if that makes any sense. It's quite simple. As you can see, I'm just going to remove the whole thing like that. I'm going to clean this part of my cookie. You can scratch your cookie just a bit and start all over again. What happens when you have a cookie like fully like covered is basically the same. I just wait a bit longer for the whole cookie to dry in order to just remove. It's kind of like peeling off the icing. And yeah, I hope I help you or just gave you some ideas on how you can do this. Because it's pretty common to make mistakes when you are decorating cookies. You just Nothing happens if you just want to try some other design or you just didn't like the final result. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys, don't forget to subscribe.